Hi friends, my name is Victoria and I'm a mindful movement guide. Today I have a very short flow that is going to be accessible for all levels regardless of how long you've been practicing for. If you're a beginner, however, this is going to be the perfect opportunity for you to become a little bit more familiar with some of these postures and to become a little bit more familiar with movement in your body and what it feels like. I will be using blocks, I'll be demoing how to use them, however, if you don't own any, you can use any household items that are going to be sturdy and will provide height off the floor. I won't be playing music so it's up to you if you'd like this to be a more silent practice or if you want to play your own music in the background. But we'll go ahead and start standing at the top of our mat. Bring your feet together and then we'll bring our feet hips with distance by bringing your toes out first and then the heels follow right behind. Starting to spread the soles of your feet really wide on the mat to create a very sturdy foundation. Lengthen the necks of the toes and then root down through your heels as you reach the crown of your head up to the ceiling. Fingertips lengthen and strengthen all the way down to the mat. So there's energy running through every single part of your body here right now right every limb is very active very purposeful and then if you feel safe if you feel comfortable you can start to close the eyes or soften the gaze taking a second here to lean into stillness lean into silence as you shift your full focus onto your breath taking a deep breath in for four three two exhale four three two inhale four three two Exhale, four, three, two. Inhale, four, three, two. Exhale, four, three, two. One, and continuing with the slow and steady breath. Again, every single part of your body is active and strong, just for one or two more rounds here. And then when you're ready, you can start to flutter your eyes open. We'll start to find some length here. As you inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Lengthen the spine, lift the gaze. Exhale, find a side body stretch to the right. Drop the right arm, left fingertips sweep over to the right. See if you can spiral the pinky finger in to find space between the ear and the shoulder. As you ground down through your left heel, spiral the chest open to the ceiling. Inhale back to center, lift up, reach up. Exhale, side body stretch to the left, right fingertips reach to the left. Sending your right hip crease out to the right to deepen the stretch here in the side body. Inhale back to center, exhale, side body stretch to the right. Staying here for just a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale back to center, reach up, exhale to the left for a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, stand tall, reach high. Exhale, find a baby back bend as you cactus the arms, let the head and neck drop, hips drive forward. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, baby back bend. One more, inhale, lift up. Exhale, open. Beautiful, inhale to lift back up. Exhale, hands to heart, center, hinge from your hips, find a forward fold. And we're gonna take a second to settle into the shape here. So maybe you start to grab opposite elbows, finding a really generous bend in your knees to soften the backs of the thighs, soften the back of the neck. Maybe you shake the head side to side, shake the torso side to side. I'm just staying here for two or three more rounds of breath. And then when you're ready, dropping the fingertips down to the mat. Inhale to lift halfway, hands to the shin, straighten legs, lift the gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen spine. Exhale, forward fold. One more inhale, nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold, release. On your next inhale, step your left toes back behind you. Drop the back knee, untuck the back toes. Exhale to settle as you grab your blocks. We'll start with the highest setting here, a little bit right under the shoulders. Inhale to bend the knee deeply, drive the hips forward, open the heart space. Exhale, extend the right leg, flex the right foot, hinge forward. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, bend the knee deeply, open the heart. Exhale extend and hinge. One more, inhale and exhale. 
Beautiful. Finding your low lunge again. Move the blocks for now out of the way as you untuck the back toes, lift the back knee. And then from here, option to keep the left hand on the mat or a block. On your next inhale, find a low lunge twist. Right fingertips reach up. And just for a breath here, drive the left heel back to keep the back leg strong. Stay light on this bottom hand as you pull the shoulders back. And then start to find spirals or circles rather with the right arm going forward, up and back forward up and back maybe the gaze follows and then switch it out go the other way around back up and forward beautiful on your next inhale lift back up lift the gaze exhale hands to the mat grab your blocks you're going to bring them to the highest setting about six inches in front of the right foot inhale broaden through the shoulders open the chest lift the gaze forward exhale supported warrior three and we'll stay here for a couple rounds of breath engaging and strengthening through the back side of your body flex your back foot so you're powering through your back heel crown of your head reaches forward see if you can bring all of your left toes to face the floor to square the hips as you close the rib cage stay light on your hands take a deep breath in stay on the exhale one more inhale Exhale, drop your back foot parallel to the short edge of your mat. Bend your right knee. Inhale, warrior two, spiral the arms open. Settle on the exhale. We'll stay here for a couple rounds of breath. See if you can bring your right heel to a line between the left heel and the left arch of your foot. Actively grounding down to the pinky toe edge of your left foot as you press your knee to the pinky toe edge of your right foot. Beautiful. On your next inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your right leg, flip the front palm, reach up and back. Exhale, back to your warrior two. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, straighten, lift up and back. Exhale, warrior two. One more inhale to open, lift up and up, back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose, straighten your right leg, parallel your feet, open the arms. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale, squeeze elbows behind you, open the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, hinge from your hips, wide-legged forward fold. Hands drop under the shoulders. On your next inhale, find a nice flat back. Exhale, release, let it go. And then option here to widen or shorten your stance, planting the hands firmly on the mat, just soften the back of the neck. Finding a nice passive stretch here of the hamstrings, inner thighs for a breath or two. And then from here, we'll find a nice chest opener. So reach your arms behind you. Option to interlace your fingers or for a more gentle option, grab opposite elbows. If you interlace your fingers, bring the heels of your hands together to touch. Inhale to puff up the chest by sending the fist up and back. Exhale, let the head and neck be even heavier. Maybe the fist starts to reach up and over behind the shoulders for a breath or two. And then gently release the bind. Inhale to lift halfway, lift your gaze. Exhale, low lunge to the front. Bend your right knee, pick up the back heel to square the hips. Inhale, flat back, lift your gaze. Exhale, plant the hands down, dog step back. First down dog here of our practice. So let yourself enjoy this. Maybe you pedal into your feet by bending one knee and then the other. Maybe you shake the head side to side, shake the hip side to side. And then as you allow your movements to melt back into stillness, see if you can spread the palms of your hands really, really wide, fingers spread really wide. Find a soft bend in your knees as you push the floor away, lengthen the spine, shoulders relax away from the ears. And just two to three rounds of breath here. And then when you're ready, gently, slowly, just take steps to the top of your mat, little by little, heel to toe, heel to toe, just to find a nice hamstring opener here. And then you're back in your forward fold, feet are hips with distance apart. Inhale, stand tall, lift the arms up and overhead. Exhale, side body stretch to the right, left fingertips reach to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side body stretch left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, cactus the arms, baby back bend. 
Inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift, halfway lift the gaze. Exhale to step the right toes back this time. Right knee drops, untuck the right toes. And again, grab your blocks. We've been here before, right? On your next inhale, send the hips forward, lengthen the spine, puff up through your chest. Exhale, extend the left leg, hinge the torso forward. Twice more like that. Inhale, bend the left knee, hips forward, open the heart space. Exhale, extend the leg, hinge the torso. One more deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then from here, find your way back to your low lunge. Bend the left knee, move the blocks out of the way. Hands frame the front foot, untuck the back toes. Inhale, low lunge, twist, lift the left fingertips up. And then again, if you need a hand or a block rather under the right hand, you can find that. Just a breath here. Again, send the right heel back, activate the back leg. Shoulders relax away from the ears. One more inhale, twist a little bit deeper. Exhale, find circles with the left arm, going up, back, and then forward. Again, maybe the gaze follows. And then switch it out, go the other way around. Beautiful, and then inhale back to center, lift up. Exhale, back to your low lunge, plant the left hand. And again, setting up for a supported warrior three, blocks about six inches in front of the left foot. Inhale, broaden the shoulders, lengthen spine forward. Exhale, supported warrior three. Same points of alignment. See if you can send the right heel even further back in space, crown of your head forward. So imagine that there's a ray of energy, right? Flowing in opposite directions here. Again, staying light on your hands, slight bend in the left knee. Spiral the right pinky toe down to square the hip. So your right hip is at three o'clock, left hip nine o'clock. One more breath here. One more inhale, open up a little bit more. Exhale, back foot parallel to the back edge of your mat, bend your left knee. Inhale, warrior two, spiral the arms open, settle on the exhale. Again, just a couple rounds of breath here. Notice if you are reaching forward or reaching back. See if you can stack the shoulders right on top of the hips here. Arms are really strong. So there's always a little bit of tension in every shape just to find that strength. Chin parallel to the floor, relax the shoulders. And then on your next inhale, flip the front palm, straight in the left leg, reach up and back. Exhale, back to your warrior two. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, warrior two. One more, inhale and exhale. Beautiful, inhale, star pose, open up through all four limbs. Exhale, hands to your hips. I'll turn so you can face me. Inhale, squeeze the elbows, puff up the chest. Exhale, wide legged forward, fold, let it go. Again, hands under the shoulders. Inhale, nice long spine, lift the gaze. Exhale, release. And just take a second to notice how different this shape might feel from the first time we did it, right? Maybe it feels a little more spacious. Maybe you feel a little bit more ease and less effort. Two rounds of breath. Beautiful. From here, inhale back to your nice flat back, lift the gaze. Exhale, low lunge to the front. Remember I switched, so you're still facing the front. From here, inhale, puff up through your chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, down dog, step your left foot back. Again, take a second here. Maybe you pedal into your feet one more time. Maybe you shake the head again one more time. Let this feel very good, right? Let it feel luxurious even. And then start to find stillness in your down dog. See if you can bring each heel to track between the second and third toe. Spiral the creases of your elbows in and forward to the front. Find space between the ears and the shoulders. Lifting the tailbone a little bit more. One more inhale. Stay on the exhale. And then again, walking your feet to the top of your mat, little by little, heel to toe, heel to toe in your forward fold. On your next inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side body stretch left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, baby back bend. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold. From here, inhale to lift halfway. 
Exhale, plant the hands, step back to a high plank. You're gonna lower for four, lower slowly for three, for two, drop the hips, untuck the toes behind you, and then plant the forearms right in front of you for a sphinx pose. So it's a slight back bend. Make sure feet are about hips width distance behind you. And then from here, you're gonna roll out the wrist one direction and then roll it out the other direction. And then plant the hands back to the mat, drop the chin to the chest, roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Back to center, left ear, left shoulder. Back to center, one more like that, right to right. Back to center, left to left. Back to center, and lift the chin away from the chest. Just a little bit more stretching here. You're gonna bring your left forearm to the middle here. It might come at a 45 degree angle. Bend your right knee behind you. Reach your right arm behind you. Grab the top of the right foot. If you'd like to use a strap for this, make this a little more accessible, you can. But on the next inhale, you're gonna squeeze the heel towards the glute. Exhale to relax it a little bit. We'll do that three more times. Inhale to squeeze. Exhale, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax. And then release the shin. We'll do that on the other side. Right shin or right forearm at a 45 degree angle right in front of you. Bend your left knee, left hand reaches back. You'll squeeze and then release. Inhale to squeeze, exhale, release. Twice more like that. Squeeze, release, and then let it go. Beautiful. All right, friends, that was your very short, very accessible beginner's flow. If you'd like to use this as a warm up for a different flow, you can definitely go ahead and do that. But this in itself is a very nice flow just to once again familiarize with yourself with your body. Maybe get rid of a little bit of stiffness if you're feeling very tight today. Again, my name is Victoria. It's always a pleasure having you all. Thank you so much for letting me lead your practice at your home. And other than that, thank you so much. I'll see you soon.